All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, finally got this 10-year golf wing package in. Ordered it in, like, what was it? The middle of August, and finally came. Today's the 28th, and, yeah, it said seven to eight weeks, but that shit took longer, or seven to ten, that shit took way longer, I feel like. But, uh, yeah, I'm basically just going to do what I did with the wolf one. Just kind of pull from it but uh yeah let's get started so off rip you could see that in the first clip box cutter golf wing hat these were everywhere in 2012 20 yeah like 2011 2012 but uh cat on the back golf wing tag did not used to have that and golf tag in the on the inside and then if you guys saw my video about the spotify capsule these crazy new weird inserts but uh yeah pretty basic ass hat again just got it because it's like one of the first designs they really made but uh yeah let's keep going all right and the next to match that t-shirt golf wing 10-year tag is the same logo on a shirt just white shirt um i have one of these already but it is tie-dyed so just kind of cool to have a plain white one um probably not going to take this out of the back right now because that's all the design is but uh yeah nice cool little tag uh yeah no super basic shirt and uh we can move on all right next we got this shark cat. Yeah. I knew it was shark cat, but I didn't know if they were actually going to say it on the tag. But uh, it's a nice cream, and it's got this. I am going to open this up because on the old ones, it had some printing on the ribs that I don't think this one will have because I don't know if they would have paid attention to that. But yeah, this is a heavy t-shirt. I can feel it already. Um, let me flatten it out. This is a very thick, nice t-shirt. Even had a silica packet in it, but it did not have... So, it would have been here if it had golf wing in the box cutter font on the ribs. That's what the ones from like 10 years ago had. But uh, this one does not. And then again, super basic tag. Or, I guess, commemorative tag. And then, yeah. Nice print. But, uh, yeah, let's move on. All right. Crew neck time. And it's this little box logo, some cat eyes. And I'm actually going to open this up and see how thick it is. Because lately I've been a big crew neck kind of guy. I don't know. It's just something cool about not having a hood, but I can't open that with one hand. Right. Pretty heavy. Some nice print. Old tag. Oh, well, no. The other one said Wang on the other one. One, would say, one side would say golf, one side would say Wang. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how this fits real quick. Just because I did buy a medium and I usually like my hoodies and stuff like that kind of small. Yeah, no, it fits exactly how I wanted it to, really. Uh, might just be like a little short on the waist, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Then, Camp Flog no hoodie. I really like the Slater hoodie from the Wolf Drop. I've been really liking the fit from that and how warm it is and not having strings. And I'm pretty sure that this is like that. So, again, going to open this up real quick and then talk about it. So, a nice blue hoodie. The color's all kind of messed up. It's making me look way pinker than normal. But, uh, Great Wang logo. That's a really nice print, actually. And I just really like that logo. And uh, I don't really have that many shirts with it or anything besides the hat with it. But, uh, yeah. Crazy hood. No, uh, no special tags on it besides this one. I am curious to see with one other hoodie if it has the little kill cat stitched on there. But as of right now, no. And I'm... Gonna put this on. I imagine it fits the same as the Slater one, but uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Exact same fit as the Slater one. Really fucking love that one. But, uh, yeah. It's crazy good print quality. But, uh, we got two hoodies and then a jacket to go. All right, next, another Kill Cat or Shark Cat um, graphic. This is the hoodie. It's an orange. I thought it was pretty cool that they made an unreleased piece from, again, like 10 years ago. There's a picture of Tyler wearing one of these, but uh, I thought it would be pretty cool to have an orange hoodie. So, again, I cannot open these with one hand, but <laughs> give me a sec. All right, so... A thing with these is, okay, yeah, it did come with it. That's cool. These hoodies from way back when had the uh, golf printed on the hoodie as well. And this orange is just insane. This would be like a nice sweatshirt to wear with a jacket over top. But yeah, no, that's like super vibrant. Again, it was just something different than getting a blue sweatshirt, a gray sweatshirt, or a black sweatshirt. So now I got orange dark green and yeah i don't know pretty cool just to get to the collection i'm not gonna t put this on because two hoodies in same fit yeah all right this one i am super excited about this should have come out in fall winter 2014 so again like nine years ago but they had the gray one with the blue lettering and the green one with the white lettering. And in the lookbook, you can see Tyler wearing a blue one with the red lettering. And it should have had red strings. Uh, I know some people got a hold of that sample, but it never came out. So I'm super curious to see if... I mean, it doesn't have any strings, which kind of sucks. But I'm curious to see if it has on the arm the little Kill Cat detail that was from around that time. So let's open this up. So this one's a little different. Um, I guess maybe because the other ones were technically like odd future designs. But this one, it does have that little detail that I was questioning. And it does feel a little bit thinner. But it does have this golf wang. Golf wang. <gasps> golf wang. I guess, I don't know. Just like stitching around the collar. Or around the neck hood area. I am going to put this one on though. But again, the collar isn't really picking up that well. But... It's a nice, like, baby blue, kind of, like, pale blue. Again, pretty much same fit. It is pretty cool that uh, this hoodie did come out. It is, I guess, the closest to uh, these white text blue hoodies from, uh, again, like, 2014. But this is the closest thing we'll probably get. And, yeah, really like the fit, really like the color. And then on to the best for last, I would say, is... A jacket that we have and if you've looked at what came out and all the jackets that have come out or in the jacket that came out in this drop i've picked up the flame puffer um grandpa jacket so we got one more that's really sick all right last but not least we have this cursive letterman jacket the jean or the denim and then cloth i thought it was leather but definitely wasn't as based on the price compared to the uh, other one from the wolf drop but it does say wolf 10 years which is kind of curious because this was something that was worn slash made around cherry bomb and i can show you guys actually the insert from the cherry bomb album so when this album came out he was wearing this jacket a lot and this was the opening because it was just a normal blue jacket that you can get from like any thrift store they have millions of these but uh yeah he just drew on the lining and then added the uh patches to the back and i know a few of these were made officially and never released but they were just given to a few people a few instagram people so they're kind of floating around out there pissed i never got one but that's neither here nor there nice chenille patch on the front as well as the back yeah no this is a sick jacket i'm gonna try it on real quick and uh maybe layer it with a hoodie because that's probably how i wear it but talking about it more we got snap buttons a quilted liner which is actually really nice and like i said these cloth sleeves these things like seems like they're gonna be fuzzball magnets and yeah the inside is also quilted but uh yeah let's get this on 
I did not layer it. I just have a t-shirt on underneath, and there's blue fuzz from that blue hoodie. But, uh, yeah, no, this fits great. I got a small because, like I said, I kind of like my jackets to fit a little small. Same with my hoodies. But, uh, yeah, man, this was a crazy, another, like, surprising drop. Maybe he'll do a cherry bomb one for in two years' time. But, uh, if not, shit, I don't know how many more golf wing videos I'm going to make because golf will flare. I like some of this stuff, but honestly, I don't see myself buying it, a lot of it, if any of it, because it's just so expensive. I know it's, oh, if you're not in that price range, but it's like, I don't know, I just wouldn't see myself spending like $400 for a cardigan. I don't know. Maybe in the future sometime, but uh, yeah, no, as of right now, this is it. This was the last golf video i was really waiting on for the package to come in but uh yeah as always i appreciate you guys watching and uh yeah we're almost at like 1500 subscribers which is absolutely crazy because i remember sitting like right there saying like thanks for 18 but uh yeah no so i'll see you guys when i see you whenever i upload next but uh yeah i'll put these items up on instagram kind of show you just in a little bit more detail and we'll go from there. Peace.